Hello, 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 uh, all, everyone. Um, welcome back to the film show. Uh, we are the Scottish film podcast where we talk about films and probably like ghosts as well. <laughs> it's mostly ghosts. <laughs> welcome to the film show. Welcome to the mostly ghost podcast. The podcast where we talk about films and then relate them to films. Credibility. <laughs> oh, <laughs> credibility. <laughs> um, Should probably turn the speakers off, by the way, before yeah. we get off. Um, we were off last week. We well, were. Chris was off last week. Aye. Because he had the shits. I did. <laughs> <laughs> you got me. <laughs> what did you eat, Chris? I can't remember. Let's get, the bo- get the spirit box out and we'll find out. <laughs> did, you, did you consume donor meat? I can't remember. I don't know. I don't keep track of my food eating habits for a week ago. I haven't had dollar meat in like two weeks. I'm not ready. I'm no. I'm right back at it. I'm fucking never having it ever again. (laughs) (laughs) I bought that munchie box and didn't even fucking touch it. Aye, we get munchie boxes like two weeks ago or something. For those that don't know what a munchie box is. There was five A's (laughs) and we all got a munchie box. What? Actually, I got a grill box. It was like the worst thing. (laughs) I got a grill box, which is just a munchie box, but without vegetables. (laughs) So, like... (laughs) <laughs> no, and like less potato and just like mere meat <laughs> <laughs> just like the stinkiest greasiest room ever if you happen to be not from Scotland and for some reason listening to this and you don't know what a munchie box is I'm sure they have munchie boxes elsewhere I don't know man no that, I've not I've never heard of anything outside a, Scotland really I watched a vice thing where it was like that f- that food vice food thing aye i seen that and they had to explain to that woman what a munchie box really? was really aye that's fucked so it's, it's um, weird. It's basically like it's a pizza box in the Indian or Turkish or whatever, shop. and just like a bit of everything on the menu, really. Aye. For Except pizza. Imagine they put pizza in a munchie box. They should do that. Imagine you got everything that's in a munchie box, but just what, under it all was a full pizza. No, I, I <laughs> own a pizza. Aye. But know. no, like, oh, like, uh, like as pizza See topping. If I that guy just like the bottom of the box is a pizza. And if, and I, a if massive I asked the guy kebab. in the Palms to do that, he'd do it for me because he loves me. He does, by the way. Yeah, I know. Have you like sell him dodgy dealings or something? You've so been giving him some horror films. What? Buying him some straight to DVD horror films. I was, I'm that making, would win me over. I'm making his straight to DVD horror film. <laughs> um, You've been joined by us, by the way. <laughs> what? You've been joined by us. What do you mean? Today we are joined by... Oh, aye. Uh, aye. I need to introduce a ragtag group of... Rap scallions. Fuds. Ravengers. This is, uh, <laughs> I'm here. I'm joined by ghost specialist and soon-to-be birthday boy, Chris Grant. All right. Ow! Chris is going to be 20. This is my last podcast. No longer, of the, no longer of the teen persuasion. Is tomorrow your birthday or is it actually Friday? Because we're going out on Friday. It's tomorrow. Is it tomorrow? I, c- I, I can now. I'm getting you knee drinks. <laughs> <laughs> a <I> betrayal. <laughs> I can now go out in public and sing "Teenagers" by My Chemical Romance and be like, "Aye, I hate teenagers." Hang right, I turned twenty last year, and I'm going to be twenty-one in April. And I, I hate children. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I'm also joined by. Uh, my very own personal trainer, Joe Fisher. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Balkan beast, Joe Fisher. Um, so we just, we just dive right in. Dive, kick right into all these films. Mm. Um, I watched a lot of films. <laughs> <laughs> get get a of Ghosts! <laughs> Ghosts! <laughs> uh, I, I put a headphones just fell. Um, right. Series of unfortunate events then. Oh. DK, Drift King. Drift King. We started again from the beginning. Because Chris, Chris, <laughs> Chris broke. Chris, <laughs> and I might very well be about to break it again. No. <laughs> um, right, go, go on. I can't, I can't quite, uh, man, it's not really working out here, so. If you go like all the way back through our what, old episodes and all that, there is an episode of this where I just talk about every Fast and Furious film in detail for like an hour, so we don't really need to talk about the third one, even though it's maybe the best one. I didn't like it. Fuck off. Apart from Fast the and Furious Tokyo Drift is 
quality. <laughs> Part for the Hulk car. Aye. I, I might get, like, the poster. I'd be alright I'd, I'd with right that. Aye. <laughs> um, aye, like, if you've not watched Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift by now, gear the fuck up, boy. Just watch <laughs> all of them, like, one to seven. I like, just... In um, fact, no. One to, no, six, one one to six, six, and then go aye. see seven when Seven's it comes out, out this year. Seven's out, like, in... In soon. Yeah. This summer, I think. Aye, that's gonna be good. And it's got the guys from Tokyo Drift in it, so you better get As is fan- f- f- Fantastic Four. Took me like, like three attempts to say that. Fans it's Four. Aye, that's not how it's pronounced, Joe, mate. <laughs> fans Four Tastic. Is the film just gonna be called like, like, like folks gonna call it Fantastic? No, it'll be Fantastic Four. Well, you're saying that, but if you said fan to fantastic. I know, like, I, looks, I get it because, like, they, they kind of needed that because it's like a reboot, they needed something. It looks fucking amazing. Should I just called it the Fantastic Four? Rise of the Fantastic Four. Fantastic Four versus Superman. <laughs> Dawn of Justice. I like the two seconds of, like, CGI, the thing looked cool. That looks so good, man. I'm so excited for that. Um, I'm going to miss the bodysuit, though. Michael Chiklis. Uh, you can't really get it better than Michael Chiklis is the Again, thing. Again, they should have just got him back. Aye. I'd go Dickless for Michael Chiklis. <laughs> Holla if you get that reference. Holla if you hear me. <laughs> get the hook up. Oh, you didn't know. The big bad booty daddy. Scott Steiner. Mm, nope. <laughs> Freakzilla. No. As it was known. That's, that's for Friday. <laughs> Aye, I watched is. films this week. No, so we're not finished with the series of unfortunate events. Aye, what's oh, next? Aye. Oh, aye. Right, so as you know, rapper Lil Bow Wow is in Fast and Furious <laughs> Tokyo <laughs> Drift, right? Who does he play? He plays... He's like the guy, the guy that, with the... With the shoes and that? With the shoes and the oh, Hulk right, okay, car. Okay. Um, now, now known colloquially as Bow Wow, as he's no longer Lil. <laughs> yep. He starred in a movie that came out in... Is Lil Kim just Kim now? No, Lil... No. 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 No, because is Lil Kim no like a girl? Is Lil Chris just Chris? I'm pretty sure Lil Chris is dead. <laughs> 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 um, it took me a while to find Lil Bow Wow's IMDb page, because funnily enough, his IMDb page does not list his name as Lil Bow Wow. Aye. <laughs> it's his real name. Oh, um, what? What's his real name? I have no what? idea. Stephen Johnson or something. <laughs> um... And you know, originally I was going to pick Lil Bow Wow Classic Like Mike. Wait, you're not? But then I didn't oh, to do that. Shit. Uh, because Chris missed it last week, so I was displeased. So I'm going to like, watch <laughs> Like Mike regardless then. <laughs> so I was like, do you know what? Lil Bow Wow was in a movie that came out in, I believe, 2013. And it was part of a long run comedy franchise. Oh no. And that movie is Scary Movie 5. <laughs> <laughs> That's not even funny, man. <laughs> In the words of the great Ron Simmons. Damn. So go Damn! go fuck yourselves. <laughs> you need to watch it as well, you fucking dick. <laughs> I'm gonna watch all of them. <laughs> <laughs> you did this. Who said that I haven't already watched? I'm gonna them. watch one to five in a row. Okay. <laughs> you, you don't need to. <laughs> no, I will. That means you need to include an epic movie, disaster movie, no, sport movie. No. <laughs> no, man. I'm pretty sure somewhere in my house I have a DVD copy of Epic Movie. You have a superhero movie? I, I do. Much. I do. I've got disaster Those movies. movies fucking suck, man. Like, d- disaster movies the worst film I've ever seen. It's bad, huh? Like, it's that and then a couple seconds Bellamy. But. Disaster movie is the fucking worst, man. The only one out of all those that I've seen that I liked is sports movie, and that's because it didn't come out as one of those movies. Date movie. Like, originally. Date movie's one with Alison Hall- ha- Alison Hannigan in it, isn't it? I've seen Superhero. She's, like, fat, and then they, like, they make fun of Hitch, but then they, like, pimp her ride and make her skinny. That movie's fucking... Chill. That movie's fucking dumb. Okay. <laughs> uh, and it's got that guy in it that's in, like, all of them, that looks kind of like one of the guys that makes South Park, but it's no... But he's in luck. All of them. Right. It must just be his job. I don't know. 
Uh, aye, so Scream Movie 5 for uh, next week. Prick. And Chris, you better watch it, mate. Oh, you're watching Saving Christmas by Kurt Cameron. I might have the shirts. <laughs> Again. I watched films. Same. Oh, okay. Let's jump into the... Well, for, before I talk about the films I watched, I also watched a TV series. Okay. And it's entirety since the last time we did one of these. I watched all of Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Mm. Up until this point. There should be a new episode out today. Eh, uh, no. Sunday. No. Sunday? Thursday. It was out on Sunday. It was Thursday over here. It was out on Sunday. I watched it on huh? Monday. Yeah. So, what? Well, I just watched, maybe, I watched maybe them all. Maybe Monday and I watched it. So how, I watched them all on Wednesdays because that's when Parks and Recreation comes out as well. So, so how, uh, how far in f- are the US in front of us? I think episode f- f- 14 of season 2. Oh, I'm on episode 2 of season 2. It's so good, so man. Yep. Captain Holt is like the best thing to like, ever happen. <laughs> yep. He's so funny, isn't he? Aye. Aye, he's hilarious. If either of you have seen the episode where they get street meat? Yep. No. I Fuck have. Man. No spoilers. <laughs> I have seen it. Oh. Just like the way he's, he like, f- like delivers his lines. It's just perfect. And the one where Terry Crews has to get his 10,000 calories <laughs> and the fridge is broken. It's like one of the funniest things I've ever seen. Terry Crews is hilarious in like everything he's in. Aye, he's great. So I watched all that, but that's not a film. So. Yeah. I watched Taken 3. Was it terrible? Nope. Oh. It was, was it better than Taken 2? Well, I like Taken 2, so. That pretty wasn't much what I asked. This, it's pretty much, it's <laughs> pretty much the same. Cool, I won't watch Taken 3 then. I like it. <laughs> uh, Forrest Whitaker's in it. Well, maybe it was Forrest Whitaker, or maybe it was that other guy that looks just like Forrest Whitaker and like talks like him and everything as well. There's some American actor that's in like low budget movies that looks exactly like Forrest Whitaker and like talks like him and everything, but I can't remember his name. But uh, Forrest Whitaker's brother, maybe Boris Whitaker. <laughs> He's in it. It's him. Eric it's just Qu- Nick. It's Nick Cage. Eric Whitaker. It's Jack Bow. It's Bo- Bob Whitaker. But I, um, Forrest Whitaker's in this. I'm almost a hundred percent sure of it. Uh, and Liam Neeson, obviously. Aye. Liam Neeson. It actually had like a better story and like better twist than what like, they even needed to. Aye. Aye, like it was good. I enjoyed it. Cool. He blows stuff up and like kills folk and does cool things. As expected. Uh, does it right. kill people? Does it have like a is there, like a speech in it? They're covering it like the first one. Eh, uh, I think so. I think so. I think like the the next thing they can they logically could do apart from buying masks you can play for taking four co- Colin London Colin um, <laughs> is I thought it was Pudge 3 London Colin no after I seen Pudge 2 I was like that fuck, idea, off. fuck <laughs> off I was like go take it it was to, just too good to have to leave it though. it's better anyway because someone steals the queen <laughs> right and then right let me sit, let me paint <laughs> you a picture here right of what taking four Colin London Colin is Exterior. <laughs> <laughs> Cold open, right? Buckingham Palace, 2017. Right. right? It's floating. Queen wakes up and she's like, the future. She's doing her makeup and that. Floating Buckingham Palace. <laughs> makeup. Right? Still. They're like, can't let the guy, like, they steal the Queen, right? He's <laughs> <laughs> still that big bag <laughs> with a dollar <laughs> sign in it. He's <laughs> put her in it. Like, as, <laughs> as she's doing her makeup, they just walk in. There's the Queen, man. <laughs> Get her bumped. Get her stolen, right? So they steal the Queen, they like, walk out uh, under large like, outside Martin Palace, right? <laughs> they steal the Queen, right? And everybody's like, oh, fuck, man, somebody stole the, somebody stole the Queen, man. What about like a pug under their jacket. What? <laughs> just <laughs> in their bag. <laughs> oh, holy well, hey, fuck, someone stole the Queen. What we got a day? What we got a day? I was like, the UN's are like, blah, 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 blah. Right? And Barack will be doing his fifth term <laughs> as president, right? Because... <laughs> That's how much he's. That's how cool he is, right? He stands up, and he's like, "I can just a guy." Cut to Beverly Hills, right? <laughs> Fucking Liam Neeson. I still having he that up, smoothie man. for he's taking like, two. He's like waking up, me. So he's making no. up that. And then, like, um, gets a phone call, and it's Barack Obama. And he's like, Barack Obama's like, "We need your help." And he's like, "What is this, Mr. President?" No, he just calls and Barack Obama Biz. No, he calls him. I calls him like Barry. Biz. <laughs> 
Barry will be. Aye. What is a what is a Barry? But like you think it's someone else, you think it's a prison. I think he's talking to somebody called Barry, right? <laughs> yeah, it cuts and it's fucking the prison. He's like, someone's stolen the Queen. And he's like, what's that going to do with me and all that? He's like, you owe me. I got Holly Vance to give your daughter singing lessons, right? <laughs> and he's like, eh. <laughs> He's like, he's like, well, you've got, he's like, well, you've got me there. <laughs> Aye, fair part, our big man. So a big man sets out to fucking Paris, wherever the fuck he goes in the first one, to find the Queen. Istanbul, mate. Istanbul. Istanbul. Well, no, no, the second one's Istanbul, what's the first one? It's, but it starts in Paris. Does it? Ah, yeah, it's Paris. Um... But it's like he goes to Paris, it's 2017, the Eiffel Tower's like floating or that. <laughs> <laughs> and a future where all landmarks are not on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> um, but then, no, it doesn't go to Paris, it doesn't make sense. It goes to London, because it's London Common. Yeah, that. <laughs> right? So he goes to London. Goes to Soho. <laughs> and he's like, I need to put a team together to help find the Queen. Who'd he get in his team? Come on, Vinnie Jones. <laughs> Danny Dyer. Oh my fuck. <laughs> And fucking uh, Val Kilmer, <laughs> Val Kil- but it's like Val Kilmer playing Val Kilmer, and he's like Val Kilmer. No, what are you doing here? No, what it is right? <laughs> you see how his wife in it's played by the woman that played Jean Grey. Aye, it's just Cyclops for X Men <laughs> as Cyclops for X Men. <laughs> and um, who's like the guy for the Expendables? It's English the bald guy, Statham. Jason Aye, Jason Statham. Statham. Him as well. Imagine they done a UK division of the Expendables. <laughs> I uh, because like Ross it be cold, but like it need be cold something. It uh, need be like a pun because it kind of didn't expend the bills. The hooligans. <laughs> it need to be like the expelled, the expendables foot soldiers, <laughs> terrorist warriors. Just because like the fun. Aye. <laughs> the fun three expendables supporters club. Aye. It's just like them. <laughs> Who would it be? Right, what eight? Danny Dyer. Or Danny Dyer. Vinnie Jones. The Queen. The Queen. <laughs> Prince Philip just being racist. <laughs> that guy's not a Danny Dyer's films. That's Stephen Graham. Aye. No, no. I have as well. Pa- Craig Charles. Doesn't he work? He's in a. Um, he's in who's a... the guy that plays fucking Bricktop and Snatch? It would just be him. He'd be like the leader, like the old guy. Eh. Uh, um. <coughs> this is hard. How many have we got? Catherine Tate. <laughs> 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 Jack and Victor. <laughs> yeah, you could get uh, you could get the big man. Uh, guy in Kickass. Because he's English. What the fuck are you talking about? The guy in Kickass. Kickass. Oh, uh, Aaron Taylor Johnson. Aaron Taylor Johnson. Is he not American? No, he's no, English. He's, is he? He's English. Joey's first movie role was Angus Thongs and Perfect Snogging. Was it? Aye. Fuck. He was like the boy in it. Was he? <laughs> Aye. Jesus Christ. And then, oh. And then he was like, I'm going to go to Kickass and like marry a 40 year old. Yeah, oh, Ray oh, Winston. Mark. Oh, mate. Get your trousers on, you <laughs> nicked. And then plan B. Aye, plan B, aye. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, joke what you want, the Sweeney is fucking brilliant. Daniel Radcliffe, but like that's Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> Neil for them between us. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen the... Right, so there you go, there's the Have you seen the Sweeney movie? No, I want to see it. Like, My dad was watching it the other day. so good. What's that? I walked the Sweeney? I walked down the stairs. There's plan B and Ray Winston. I know, I know. It's so, it. it's like I really walk, good. I walked downstairs and Plan B and Ray Winston were running towards um, that pillar that's in London. Aye. And I was just like, oh, here. And then left. It's, it's great. <laughs> yeah, Michael Caine plays the Mickey Rourke character. Of course. Aye. Of course he does. Speaking of Michael Caine, I watched Interstellar. But who's the bad guy? What, an Interstellar? No, an Expendables UK. All right. Uh, Judy uh, Dench. Alex Salmond. <laughs> The government. <laughs> Nigel Farage. The man. <laughs> That's the prequel to Expendables, but it's no, set in the 60s. Have to have to Seamus. <laughs> oh my god, man. <laughs> Just Samuel Jackson. Fella! The gentleman grappler, Jack Gallagher. Aye. That Kingsman comes out today. Aye, that looks really good. That was great. Sorry, the moron. So Sweet. did you just watch films? I did, I, yeah. No, I'm not going to be as good as how Taken 4 London Colin would be. Uh, Taken 4 London is expendable. <laughs> not telling you, right? Mate. No, right. Can how they're making 10... Can how they're making 10 Fast and Furious movies? <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're, they're going to be, right? Oh, 
no. Fast and Furious 10, final ride. Fast and Furious... Right, Fa- it's Fast and Furious 11, right? But the 11 makes an X, and it's Fast and Furious X Spendables, and it's a crossover. <laughs> oh, I forgot about it. <laughs> I forgot about... What's his name? King Arthur. Guy who plays King Arthur. <laughs> I don't oh. know. Clive Owen. Oh, he's shite. No, he's not. He's Irish, isn't he? No. No, I don't guess. I don't even know if he's English, Chris. Oh, yes. No, <laughs> definitely. Uh, I'm Jonathan Osborne. So I watched the Interstellar. How was it? It was fucking amazing. Good. It's like so good. Aye. Does it sound like, mixed bad? Aye. <laughs> aye. Uh, it was like... I, I don't get it. They said it was on purpose. So that's how they wanted it. It was so loud, man. It was like the stopping and shit, and like was o- you like was over, like overbearing on the the talking and stuff. But apart from that, it's amazing. Uh, and the plot is amazing. And just as I thought it was getting overly confusing and a bit silly, they like bring it home, and like that's pretty good. Tie it all up and make it all make sense. And the endings fantastic I didn't want it to finish and it was 2 hours and 50 minutes long so I guess that tells you everything you need to know about it you should definitely watch it uh, yeah, I will. you should watch it for Aye, next week I will watch it it's awesome it really is awesome I'd put off watching it for a while I'd, I've got no idea why but um, Aye. I'll get I'll <laughs> definitely definitely get that in Blu-ray is it out in Blu-ray? no no yet no and it's not in no. cinema it's in the void Yep. Uh, I'll definitely get it on Blu-ray when it comes out. Sweet. I'm actually actively excited about that coming out, which doesn't happen often. Uh, I also bought Amazing Spider-Man 2 and uh, As Above, So Below on Blu-ray. Amazing. Both of which... Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Can I speak about the second one? What? There's no creepy call. We've talked about those Aye, we've at talked length about, anyway. We've talked about it at length anyway. But I do have one gripe about the Blu-ray. They are advertised the inside as above, so below feature. is three minutes long. Ah. Uh, that's the only Aye, special that's features on it. There was, um, and there's, on uh, Amazing Spider-Man 2, there is an hour and 43 minute documentary nice. on the making of the film. Nice. Um, so I have one of those. I have, there's, there's one of that on... On one of the Dark Knight Blu-rays I've got, and I've still never watched it. It's like two hours long. It's great. Aye. It's probably the Dark Knight Rises, I think, because I think I've watched that. It's really good. I was raging when I got um, I got Frozen on Blu-ray, and I mainly got it to watch like the making of, because I wanted to see like what programs they use and all that. And um, that information's out there, but I'd rather watch it. I'm fucking Aye. Into. Um, and it was like a three-minute like musical, like. Like with the cast of the movie, and the it. song dun, 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 dun. It is exactly <laughs> like that. They sing about like how the songs about like how did we make this movie, and then they get to the end, and they're like, "So does anyone know how we made it?" And they're like, "No," and it finishes. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> "I've not watched Frozen since." So it's amazing. <laughs> well, should watch Josephine. I then watched uh, three of the the Oscar movies. Yep. Uh, in- Interstellar is nominated for some stuff, but I'm not sure. Uh, not what not best film. Aye. Aye. Uh, I think it should be. I thought it was fucking awesome. But uh, I watched Boyhood. After Mainly after the big uh, recommendation from uh, David Wilson. If I'm honest, that's where I first kind of. Shout out to David Wilson, who goes by no other name. Wavy Wilson. Wavy Wilson. No talking about that one. Um. He was he see, he was affronted that we didn't have it on any of our top tens for last year. Uh, it's the first kind of. He said mine was the best, had. so fuck he's. Fuck up. <laughs> I bet he's kind of. Uh, uh, so I watched uh, Boyhood. It's really good. The fact that it exists is like cool enough. Yeah. And the fact that it's good is like pretty crazy. Like it uh, it's was filmed over eleven or twelve years. And takes place over twelve years of a boy's life as he grows up, and uh, aye, it's works. It's yeah. good. Uh, it's just about him and his family, and as you'd assume, it doesn't all go well at all times and stuff like that. And uh, it's almost like it kind of finishes with him going off to college and stuff, as you'd expect. And uh, see, so just to put that into perspective, they probably started filming that. 
when the Return of the King came out in cinemas. Yep. Uh, or there, there is a bit where him as a kid is playing Halo 1. <laughs> so, That's quality. Uh, and it kind of finishes with him going off to college and it's rewarding. I guess, like, when you finish it, you're like, yeah, fucking did it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they never explicitly are like, it is now July, like, 12th, 2008, or whatever, like, it's, yeah. it's stuff like, you'll be playing Halo, so you can look at when Halo came out, or he goes to get the book of Harry Potter, the Half-Blood Prince, on the day it came out, at That's one cool. point, and kind of stuff like that, uh, to keep you wild into... Like, what the time is? What the time the time is I. Oh, that's cool. Um, I it's great. Like, it's quite hard to kind of get into depth talking about it because it's no like there's not a lot of like action or plot twists or anything like that. Just you know, you watch it and kind of just soak it in, I yeah. guess, and kind of just blank out for a while and enjoy it. Uh, I also watched American Sniper. Which was incredible. Uh, I thought it was absolutely amazing. Um, I'm not entirely, obviously living across here, I'm not entirely clued in on the big controversy around it. Um, But as a movie, I thought it was amazing. Um, And as far as the guy as a character... They weren't in. They weren't biased into making him look like a great guy all the time. Um, I think that's so where the controversy kicks in. No, it's what? it's not. It's what not. what's the deal? It is Get that me educated. People went to see it. And I'll tell you what I think. A bunch of fucking idiot American idiots went to see it. You're pure, you're quite quiet, by the way. Sorry. Um, <coughs> um, a bunch of like. A bunch of idiots went to see it, and like people basically were tweeting like, "Oh man, American Sniper was so good!" Like, oh, and then like tweeting like racist stuff about like, what it's Iraq and like Iraq, uh, uh, Iraq, it's like Afghanistan, well, Afghanistan, right? So, we're tweeting racist stuff about that place and the people that live there and their religion and right. all that stuff, etc. And people were like, "This movie portrays like it glorifies like racism and like it, 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 it encourages racism and all that." I it's wouldn't not say the case. that. There is a bit. Uh, they like portray the the like enemy forces over there and the way that they should be portrayed because of the things they did. Yeah, it's not like they entirely make out the main guy to be a like angel. like a good guy. Like that's what makes it so interesting. The thing as well is that maybe he isn't a good guy, and also. Uh, there's like certain bits where the kind of the US use more force than necessary and things like yeah, that, uh-huh. and don't deal with situations in the way that they should have and all that sort of stuff. So it's not like it's a propaganda piece or anything like that. And it's made by fucking uh, thingy. I forgot his name, Grant Torino. Oh, uh, yeah, like fucking Clyde. Cl- Cl- Clint Eastwood. Clint Eastwood. Aye, I was thinking Clive. I think that's why I threw myself <laughs> out. Clive Owen. Clint Eastwood. Uh, aye, it's fantastic. Brad- Bradley Cooper's amazing in that. Um, I had no idea how it ended, which was pretty crazy to me. Um, I don't know if you used to. Nah. Nope. But, uh, aye, it's Is pretty, that a true yep. story? Yeah, it's, an, it's based on the guy's book. The guy it's based on did a book about like himself. Uh, I was putting the cable up on... Aye, there we go. Um, he did a book based on himself, and then it's based on that book, and right. it's it's really good, man. I'd recommend that as well. You sh- you should watch that in Interstellar this week. Another one of the the things people were saying. Well, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna run it a bit here. <laughs> um, I'll try Go. not to say anything. Go. Dumb. But um, another one of the things people were saying was like, oh, this movie, this movie states like as a fact that. The invasion of Afghanistan was a direct um, response to 9-11. Which I don't know if it's true or not, because I've not seen the film. I don't remember. They do show that him joining the army. In fact, no, he joins the army before that. No. I can't remember. I'd have to, uh, obviously, I wasn't aware of... <laughs> 
that sort of yeah. criticism, so I wasn't looking for it, but I, I'd need to like, kind of look back and but what, get into obviously that. Obviously, I'll be able to make a, a better decision of this once I've seen it, but like what I would say is like you're watching a film that is like portraying the ideals of these people. It's not the person who's writing the film's ideals. Aye. If you're like, I'm going to write this, where like the majority of like the Ameri- of Americans at that time thought that. Aye. Which they probably did. Yep. Then that's like that's justified to like, show that. So I don't see why it's such a big like issue. I don't think we're necessarily qualified to be sitting talking about US politics. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> as a as a movie, the film shows as number a, one news feed for your US politics. And I'm I'm usually on the side of people who would be like this movie's doing this it's like Aye. sexist it's racist and all that but like this just seems like it's people what cause I have to say I'm not really clued up on all that sort of stuff yeah. if I'm honest so uh, but as a movie it is fucking outstanding so I wouldn't be surprised if Bradley Cooper does as well that's all it is as well like, Aye, it's, it's just a movie it's like. great it's fantastic um, and I also watched Whiplash I watched that as well. Did you watch? I think we can talk about this fairly in depth because it's such a small scale story and there's not really any spoilers we could give for it. Yep. He plays drums. Yes. Like that is the movie. Like that's it. Like yeah, no spoilers, I, man. No, but like oh, <laughs> that's it. But like, I, I can't it, watch it. It's that way. Well, like if we told you how it ended, <laughs> you'd just work out or whatever. Like it's about the characters. It's not uh, about it's the, not the, the like events. Uh, if that makes sense. That's, that's the impression you get anyway. Aye, like, it's uh, it's really good, man. Um... It made me glad I didn't pursue drumming as a career. I have to say, <laughs> wow. um, aye, it seems intense. Aye, I like it. yeah. It's like about like the pressure. It was like obviously like ah because I, I was in like bands at school. I didn't I didn't partake anything as intense as that. Aye, but I seen kids who were like at the beginnings of like aye. going through stuff that was oh, like yeah. as mental as that kind of thing. Like. Uh, Obviously, it's a bit different because, like, the character in the in the in the in this in the story is like that's his own choice, mm-hmm. and Aye. like he's not <coughs> uh, he's not he's not got like a pure crazy dad like oh, play drums, blah, blah, blah. but like that is I think, I think a lot of kids like that could probably relate Aye. quite well to this. Right, ba- okay. Basically, the blurb I read on it was some along the lines of he wants to be the best and all that. He's at like a conservatoire. Aye, uh, like the best music school in New York or something aye, like that. And he meets a guy who like mentors him that pushes him beyond anything that he'd ever imagined. Yeah. And stuff like that. So, and it's played by... J.K. Simmons. Is that his name? J.K. Yeah. Simmons? I always forget. J. Jonah Jameson? Yeah. <laughs> aye. Um, played by him and he's amazing in it. Um, aye, he is. Aye, it was really good. He's another one I've never seen play anything serious, really. Maybe that's just my ignorance you know, towards maybe? what he's aye. like in, but... He was kind of serious in general. Aye, yeah, he like he was still... Aye, he didn't have a big He plays the dad in a lot of things. Aye, he was in general. Yeah, he he's the dad in yeah. I Love You Man as well, and he's good in aye. that. Aye, Wet Wash was awesome. That, like, on purpose, this week was a great week for movies for me, because I was watching all that kind of Oscar-y aye. type type business. Um, I think that's everything. I watched uh, Ouija, or Ouija. Or aye, we'll Ouija. talk about that later. We'll talk about that later. Um, <laughs> aye. I enjoyed watching movies this week. Good. Last two weeks. <laughs> and last time. Uh, Aye. It's good. Watched a bunch of wrestling as well. I'm still trying to think. Of it. I'm still trying to think. Like NXT was on the last one, by the way. Hmm? The last Get Wrecked. Yeah. Takeover was on that one. Yeah. Because you'd said the other day we could talk about Takeover. But well, I mean, well, I mean like, next month's for next month's podcast when they're doing their next films. Aye, but you'd said before that. Oh, right. Uh, Aye. I think we've got The Rumble, The Square Go, Wrestle Kingdom 9. Um, I watched Space Buzz, so I'll probably talk about Aye. that. I also That's watched the first... Th- <laughs> I should probably watch that. I also watched post. the first three episodes of Ultimate Muscle. And I know that right. you've been watching Total Divas. <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> Who, me? Just the new ones. <laughs> and I watched that WWE 24. So. That was fucking cool as fuck. Uh, it was cool. That was so cool. You heard about this? No. It's uh, I don't know if it's like a, a weekly show or if that was just a one-off because it was for no, WrestleMania like last year. Because it's like episode one. But uh, it's called WWE 24 and it's like entirely 
uh, backstage of WrestleMania last right, year, okay. and like no one's in character in that. Alright, cool. it's like so cool. They've never done anything like it before. No, it was really interesting, and the changeover to get uh, the caskets on for Undertaker's entrance looked like the worst fun that anyone <laughs> could <laughs> ever have. Aye. <laughs> It was so cool to see it. It was really interesting. I wish it was longer. Aye. Nice. So you'll hear about that on Friday? Yep. <coughs> when When is this getting posted? I'll just do it today. Because we don't really have like an actual day for it. I'll just like do it today since... Because I'll probably be busy the rest of the weekend. So Aye. I'll just... For my birthday. Aye. Pretty much. Your birthday and then recovering. And then going to the gym on like Sunday. And, like, <laughs> and no. UFC on Saturday. Return of Anderson Silver. I'm doing a fuck off on Saturday, I can't wait. Your dad will be buzzing for that, surely. Aye. Wait, Anderson Silver's fighting? Aye, on Saturday. I might watch that. Ken, who he's fighting? Uh, uh, Nate Diaz. Nick Diaz. Nick Diaz. Aye. Hmm. Oh. Aye. What, what? <laughs> film show. What, aye, it's going to mm. be like the dumbest thing <laughs> <laughs> ever. Uh, what films did you switch? Film show. Chris, you can go first because I'm still trying to. Cool. So my throat's dying. Well, yeah, my th- hurts as well. We spoke about this twice, but I watched Lucy for the first time. Yeah, it's it's good. Isn't it? It's alright, isn't it? It's alright. I don't it's really like it. No, I kind of just yeah. I've seen how some people would probably like it. Just didn't find it that interesting. But I liked it. It's well made. Just I liked so. it, but it was off a kind of throwaway. It was just like I watched that. It was fine. Whatever. That's that, yeah. Like, that's kind of. I thought I thought the end was the, a bit. That's the extent of like what I thought about it. Was just like yeah, it was pretty good. Aye, no, oh, that's fair enough. So I don't really was need going to strange. Um, is this a horror? No, I watched Donnie Darko director's cut. I've still never seen that. I don't even know but anything it's about it. Because it's shite. I'd never seen it. It's a shite. Um, I think I kind of feel about so that's the way you felt man. about Birdman. Maybe whereas I can tell it was well made. I can tell everyone's good in it. I can tell everything's good, produced well, and that. But I just didn't enjoy it. Right, I'll probably not watch it. I don't even think that. I just thought it was so overrated. It's very overrated. Folk are like, it's oh, no, don't it go away. It's no that good. <laughs> no, no I, wouldn't watch, I wouldn't go out my way to watch it again, put it that way. Um, I watched the other guys. I know what the other film was, I was trying to think. Right. Yeah! We've all seen the other guys. Oh, it's well, fucking amazing. right. It's so good, that. You probably think by looking at my beer that I'm really hairy. Shit. <laughs> 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 it is so good. Isn't America! It? <laughs> I saw, uh, did you scream America? Did you see uh, Will Ferrell was filming a scene for his new movie and like, everybody thought it was real? Aye. Aye. That's weird. And he hit a cheerleader with a basketball. What, in the face? Aye. That was the best thing. Do you, know who, was do, you know who, do you know who the cheerleader was? <laughs> the TNA Women's Champion. Aye. Aye. So she could look for it and all that. That's and, like, quality. Aye. Oh. And everybody thought he'd just like. Because like, one of the commentators, because they'd done that like, half time at a basketball game, like that's when they filmed it. And one of the commentators was filming it and was like, Will Ferrell's here filming a movie where this happens. Aye. And folk were just like, Will Ferrell hit a cheerleader in the face. <laughs> 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 like, no, he what a terrible man. <laughs> Aye. He's so funny, man. Folk are dumb. I nearly watched uh, Zodiac last night um, and then didn't, so I might watch that. I went to you watch that a few times and just been like, it's so long. Aye. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's, happened, like, it's, like, it's like so good, but I don't I, I thought you said Becca, Becca. <laughs> <laughs> that is so funny. Hey! Hey! <laughs> when you want to talk to me? You want to talk to me? They keep getting like, the cucumber water. Aye, aye. <laughs> the best bits when they... Uh, Mark Wahlberg throws the, <laughs> the computer in the ground. He's like, hey! Hey! You want to be a big boy? Huh? You wake up in the morning, you say, you want to put my big, big, big boy pants on? <laughs> the, the, the this is not how we conduct ourselves in a democracy. The funniest bit for me is when they're describing... Uh, they're describing... Oh, the things that happen in his car? The things that happen in his car. Oh. He's like, yeah, we call that a soup kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, that's like the best... Um, see, like, see like the outtakes for that? Where it's like the alternate takes? <laughs> I can imagine. So good, man. <laughs> oh, well. Anyway, so I watched that. What is that? Anyway. That's, uh, that's, that's human feces. <laughs> <laughs> smell, go, smell it. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a reindeer came in here and gave birth. Hey. <laughs> Would you know that? We found this note. It said... Uh, Thanks for the F shack. <laughs> You're only making the boys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh. Right, I watched this film. L- Go. Le- Legion. What is it? Oh, Christ. I feel Have like I've that. No, but I heard it's not good. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not very good at all. <laughs> it, it's essentially Terminator, but instead of robots, it's angels. It's angels. Aye. 
So basically, like, all these humans start turning to, like, kind of demon-looking creatures. And they're kind of a bunch of guys, including Dennis Quaid, are held up in a cafe, try to defend it. And there's a woman about to give birth. Then this guy comes, he comes out, like, from the sky, and he's naked, and he finds clothes, just like Terminator. Then he goes and finds him, and he's like, I am Michael, which is definitely not a hint to Saint Michael. But anyway, because he's, like, the guardian of hell. Right. And then he's like, uh, God's lost faith in you all. Uh, so he sent his angels to come and kill you. So it's like the demons are the angels. He's like, but if your baby's born, your baby's like the next Jesus. So. Right. And then that's it. Michael dies. They, are you, do you want spoil, spoilers? I don't give a shit. Nah. Uh, they all die apart from the woman and the baby and the baby's born. And then that's it. Like nothing happens. Nothing Have changes. Have you seen Dogma? No. It sounds like that, but like Dogma's better. <laughs> I heard Dog was quite good. It's really good. It's really funny. This film was not good at all. I also watched this week's Ghost Adventures. <laughs> I saw that. The Pain of Ghosts. I can't remember. They catch something on, uh, they get a photo, uh, like Shadow Man. Oh. And then they catch a like stick figure on their mad like Xbox Connect like, device that they've got. Yep. Right, I'm, I'm about to pan a film. Go. Go. I watched... I can't. You see, they're called what I did on my holiday or I what we did. What I did. My you holiday. seen it? Aye. No. You want spoilers? I don't what care. What is it? It's a Scottish comedy. Yep. Spoilers. Go on. <laughs> right. So it's David Tennant's living down in England with his family, and he's living down hate there. Everyone. Aye. And <laughs> it's essentially, essentially, his children are like the children from outnumbered, basically. Except they're much younger. They're kind of quite funny in that. And they've got some good jokes. And then, I mean, they're coming up to visit their granddad in the Highlands, Billy Conley, for his 75th birthday. Right. As if Billy Conley lives in the Highlands. But that accent. So that, this is only about 20 minutes into the film, and they're up there, and they're all chatting. But it's, everyone's a kind of dysfunctional family. But they're all kind of quite normal at the same time. And uh, the dad, the Billy Conley, sorry, he's got cancer. And he goes, right, I want to take my three grand wins to the beach today. So when he's there, he dies. Christ, right. So the baby, the the daughters are like, well, all all our family do is argue, so why don't we build a raft and set them on fire and give them a Viking burial? I told someone recently that that's what I want my funeral to be. Well, that's... When, whenever I go. Well, that's what I... Te- I want a Viking burial. That's what a 10-year-old, 6-year-old and 3-year-old do. I want to be do. bronzed and displayed somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> that's... What puss? Just gain somebody the finger, like bronzed, just like... <laughs> Watching film like sat watching films with just my pants on. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so that's what continue. I, that's what a ten year old, six year old, and three year old do. They build a raft. They somehow find petrol and they set them on fire. Right. This is without telling their dad. No, it's great. So then they go back and they're like, "Come on, you're late for granddad's party. Everyone's here." And he's like, "Well, he's dead, and we've just set him on fire." <laughs> and then, uh, so it like, sounds like the most the, fucked thing. The, the police. You sure this right, like a horror? Not right. So the police come and there's like jokes all the way through it and. It's, you feel happy, but at the same time, you're it's like, this is like right. No? No? No, that's what's weird about it. It's so fucked So man. the police come and, like, the welfare officer comes, and she's like, have you know the kids? And she's like, she goes away, and she's like, come back. But you can kind of tell, oh, they're going to get taken away. And then, like, she's about to, she somehow breaks into the house, right? I don't know why a welfare officer breaks into the house, but she does. And she hears, like, one of the wee girls going, we are such a dysfunctional family when we're all actually just trying to be happy. Let's all live our lives normal. And then, like, she's like, I'm not going to take your kids away. Let's all live happily ever after. So and that's it. That sounds rotten. That, I, I, it just, just doesn't make sense. Uh, that doesn't sound good. Not at all. I didn't like sounds it. Sounds heavy shit. No, I didn't like it. Um, Cool. Uh, I think there's one other one before. Is that all she wrote? That was it. Is that it? Uh, I've got one more. Man of Tai Chi. Alright, oh, aye. I also you watched a Keanu what's, Reeves movie. That's what's Man of Tai Chi? Starring Chi. and directed by Keanu Reeves. Is it good? Aye, it's basically just uh, Keanu Reeves runs this company where all these rich guys can pay to watch folk fight. Right. So it's not really a good story, but all the, like, act- the fighting scenes and that are amazing. Cool. Like really good. It's like kind of reminded sound, me of the raid. When folk were talking about it, it sounded to me like a good only God forgives. Well, I've not seen only God so, forgives. <laughs> fighting's really good. Huh? I I also watched, by the way, uh, the Chris Jericho documentary that came out a few years ago. I watched Hi. that last night. It was like really, <coughs> really good. Well, one, one of the best ones I've seen. Like definitely, it was great. Quality. I really, really enjoyed it. Belter. 
Uh, it goes into like his band and all that as well. Fuzzy. They have some good songs. I was listening to his podcast the other. Did you show uh, Combat Robot Wars? No. Nope. Robot Combat Wars? No. Nope. Did it tell you about when he was lying hot? Yep. Yeah. Aye. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That was his uh, make Mexico, I think, uh, that name or something like that. They wanted to call him, like, he was talking about how that other stuff he wanted, they wanted to call him. Aye. And it was, like, pure bad. <laughs> Aye. In fact, it wasn't it, it was him on Kevin Smith's podcast, it was quality. It's basically just his life. It's good. I always listen to his podcast, like, kind of depending on who's on it, really. Same with, like, the Steve Austin one. Talk just, is Jericho. Just depends who's on it, basically. But aye. That was, that was, like, really good, like, Fantastic! I enjoyed it so much. It helps that I'm like a big fan. Aye, but uh, it was lo- it was like really interesting as well. That was me until the creepy corner. Yeah, I watched. I watched two films in that we didn't. I haven't already talked about. Um, that aren't horrors. So, um, I also watched Keanu Reeves, starring John Wick. Very good. Did you I not talk about us last week? No. No, was that good? One last week. No, do you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, it was really good. Aye. I really liked it. It's kind of like Taken, but like it's kind of like Taken. It's pretty <laughs> much <laughs> Taken with fast cars. Aye, it's like Taken, kind of with a little hint of Fast and Furious in it. Um, John Wick's like wife. I'll ju- I'll tell you the story. Set up cause it's no spoilers, right? John Wick's wife dies. Right. And she's like sick. Right. And she dies, and it there's like she a dies, sort, there's sort of like a little, there's dying. sort of like a little, because like the setup of the story is like also like taken because it's dumb as fuck, but then everything that happens after that is quality. Um, All I really need is to know if it's good, and then I'll watch it for like a hundred. I know it's I, I liked it. I liked I'm, it. I'm good then. Um, um, but for the folks at home, John Wick's wife dies, and he's like, oh, oh shit. <laughs> Right, and then, uh, right. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> oh shit! He goes home for the funeral, and then like a, pa- a package arrives at the door, and it's like a dog. Right, it's just like dug in like a, a crate, right? Right. And um, he's like, "Oh man, what?" And then there's like a envelope. <laughs> you just explain my life to folk for now. Hey, Chris bought a spirit box when he was like, "Where?" <laughs> uh, he opens the envelope, and it's like, um, "This is your wife." For beyond the grave, uh, I want you to be happy. So I got you this dog, right? Because <laughs> it will make you like be happy. And he's like, right, cool. And then uh, he's he's got the dog for like two days, right? Then he goes, he takes it into the town so he can like buy it, like dog shit, because he's not got anything, right? And then uh, he's filling his car up with gas, and he's got a really nice like old '69 like muscle car, right? And these dodgy looking guys pull up with Russians, right? And they're like, oh, this guy walks up, he's like, oh, I like your car, how much? And he's like, it's not for sale. And he's like, how much? And he's like, it's not for sale. And then the guy says something to him in Russian. And then Keanu Reeves says something back to him in Russian. And you're like, how does Keanu Reeves know Russian? Right? How does he know no Russian? How does he know Russian, right? And then um, he goes to bed that night, and the Russian guys break into his house, beat him up, kill the dog, <sighs> and steal his car. And it turns out Keanu Reeves was a hitman that worked with the guy that, the guy that attacked him's dad. And he goes out in revenge, and it's kind of these versus the, the Russian mafia. The revenge for his dog, basically. I pretty much, aye. That's amazing. Do you ever find out where the dog the dog came from? It's his wife. Came, like bought him. She's it. dead. Aye, but she like was like to tell somebody when I die, give my husband this dog. Right. Um, there was one thing that I don't like, and it's the subtitles. They do subtitles for the Russian, mm-hmm. but they're dumb as fuck. It's like they're in like a stupid looking fucking font, and then like important words are like highlighted in orange. And like big on the screen, and then sometimes the subtitles will be like on like the screen, so I just at the bottom. And I, I took That's me out weird. of it, but like apart from that, I, I liked it. Cool, I watched Total that. Total film, like really liked it. I enjoyed it. It was like I think there are rivals. Can, <laughs> can how? What's that? In? <laughs> Family Guy. <laughs> Justin Bieber. <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> can how like <coughs> Taken was like. Um, Liam Neeson's like late career, like it pushed his career. I think that's gonna do the same. It's gonna bring Keanu Reeves back from Good. like being in shit films. All right, okay. He was in Forty Seven Ronin, and Aye. that was some fucking shit. <coughs> that was shit. And he wasn't just like terrible in this as well. Aye, like it was cool. I don't know. I liked it. Volm Dafoe's in it as well, so I'm really strongly considering rewatching Lost. Aye. Yep. 
you can't ever talk about it on here. Now. I have it on. <laughs> I, ha- I, ha- I have it all on Blu-ray. So I've got it all on Netflix. Yeah, I bought it on Blu-ray whilst watching it on Netflix. <laughs> So I've still to watch the first three seasons on Blu-ray. <laughs> right. I also Where's watched Saint Vincent. Aye, what is that? Is, is that, that that one about uh, Bill Murray and the wee boy? Aye. Right. It's a dark comedy. <laughs> Shit. And it's uh, Bill Murray and Moss Moss McCarthy. Yep. Is that how you say her name? Yeah. Yep. Uh, Moss McCarthy. Her. her. And she breaks up with her husband, so they move to this like like kind of shit house. And Bill Murray's our next door neighbour, and he's just like this young old old man who's like mean, but he's really got a heart of gold. I remember seeing the trailers that basically told you the whole story. Aye, of the entire and movie. it's like it's not though. Aye, nah, there's just a full bit of the story that's just not in it. Great, and it's really good. Awesome. And I, I was like, I don't want to know it. Then. I nearly cried at, at like just the film and like multiple places. I was just like, I'm going to cry. Awesome. <laughs> so it was really good, and it's the first thing I've seen Master McCarthy in that I liked her in. So fair enough. Good on her. Stop being in Paul Feig's movies. Yep, because he's not. Don't be in Ghostbusters because it's he's not. He's not gonna be with that. <laughs> I'm I'm keeping an open mind while that shit. Cause they're talking about rebooting Indiana Jones as well. I'm like, see if it's good. I don't give a fuck what like I just don't what like f- what franchise it's from or anything like that. Like, see if they make a good story, a good movie. Like I don't care. I just don't like. I didn't like. I didn't really like Bridesmaids. I fucking hated the heat. That was terrible. I watched like half of it and turned it off. Aye, but it's that way oh, where like, you have you? to be open to enjoying it. Is that the one with Sandra Bullock in it? Aye. Aye, it's quite funny. It funny. But that's like, quite funny. You can't just like, you have to stay open to enjoying it. I'm not saying that I'm going like to hate Ghostbusters, but I just don't like the movies that guy makes. Out of experience. The thought of uh, Chris Pratt playing Indiana Jones I think that's a good is idea. pretty cool instead of like making another shit sequel or like the Harrison Ford's too old and, like, it should just start Harrison Ford in a bed dead gives him the hat title card and it's like his son nope oh. just a cunt just a guy <laughs> just a guy at the vendy oh, just, just a guy at a vendy outside the door <laughs> here big man boof out the door hat title card he's in Africa three hour epic I think Nazis. Cause what, I think what they were talking, they were always talking about it would be maybe like either someone who's related to Indiana Jones and he like passes the torch, mm-hmm. or it would be like it's set in like the same universe as Indiana Jones, but he's not Indiana Jones. Aye. he's like someone else. Indiana. Because they were talking Pones. for ages about making one with Many like, and Atlas Jones. <laughs> Indiana Pones, <laughs> just Pones folk. Milwaukee what Jones. <laughs> 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 um, they were talking for ages about making one way fucking Shia LaBeouf. Hong Kong Greg in the Temple of Doom. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, man. Hong Kong Greg and the two day old fucking <laughs> plain <donor> breed kebab. <laughs> plain breed fries to go piece. <laughs> um, oh man. Ugh. We should make that for Dan Riker. Aye. <laughs> you know, Do a cooking video. <laughs> um, aye. Do whatever. I really want. I really wanted Emma Stone to be in the female Ghostbusters as um, the receptionist. I've not seen Ghostbusters, so I wouldn't know. So, but I fully assume that since it's all female Ghostbusters, it'll be a male receptionist who's probably like effeminate <laughs> and like Lloyd <laughs> for entourage. Aye, done. Aye. Sign him up. That guy that's in there's a guy in Parks and Rec, and all he does is shout, and it's hilarious. And you should just have him. That's his thing. He just shouts, and it should just be him. How have you, you watched all of Entourage yet? Yes. Did you like go of it? I was good. Aye. It was good. I could watch Lloyd and Ari like that, that should have just been like, that should just I, forever. That, that should be the full movie. That should just be the show. They should have just spun that off. Aye. They should have just been that. Because I'd have watched that like over and over again. Aye. Well, I don't care about like famous folk and their like white people problems. <laughs> <laughs> um Take a drop. Is it time to get creepy? Yeah, it is. I was I was talking to really fast. Someone the other day, and uh, they told me they were watching a movie. She's just not that into you. It's called or something like that. And I was like, uh, I don't know what that is. So I look, I look, I look, Justin Long's in that. Isn't he? I, I looked I up on IMDb that. and E from Entourages. Is he? And I, I, Fuck. Here we go. Yeah, son. Oh shit. I fucked that there, sorry. What? I like went to turn up the volume. Mm. 
That's fuck. Choo choo. Chris, tell us all about the pure Gallus horror films you watched this week. Right, okay. Oh, what's that? I hear my phone's not turned on. Right, I started off with a 2002 creature feature. Eight legged freaks. Oh, oh yeah! Uh, <laughs> we used to have this on video. And we used Aye, to watch it all the time. David Arquette? Aye. David, David Arquette. Dirty, dirty bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Sly <laughs> Doug. Oh, what have I missed? He's a sex beast. Is he? Postful Aye. sex beast. Oh, quite a joke. He's like a sex addict. God. You should watch Ready to Rumble. I'm, I might do that for the That's the WCW branded wrestling comedy that David Arquette was I in. I might watch it before get wrecked and then talk about it. <laughs> Aye, so I watched that. There's some radioactive waste that goes into a pond. Spiders eat the crickets for it. They don't quite make them like they used to. Yeah. Spiders get big and eat You know why it was supposed to be like a big budget? Like, obviously there was Godzilla, it's a bit different, but... Godzilla... A bit different since someone's been like, There's radioactive waste has made this hamster fucking massive. Nice. Sting shits everywhere. That, like, eight legged freaks in like evolution. I nearly bought Godzilla. Aye. I'm on Blu ray, but I bought uh, Tremors. That's I another one. I bought As Above So Low instead. Folk just, folk just hate Godzilla for like no reason. I loved it. I didn't like it. We saw it in the cinema, I thought it was great. Folk just hate it. I'm like, why? They're like, well, the CGI's bad. I'm like, no, you don't care how CGI works no. if you think that's bad. I wouldn't have said that was bad. I thought it was very well made. <laughs> Honestly, man. It's, um, it's cool to not like stuff. Aye. Right, we've all seen Eight Legged Freaks. There's not really much a story to it. It's just enjoyable. I'm going to yeah. move on to my next one. Aye. Does Eight Legged Freaks have the fat guy from My Name is Errol in it? I don't think so. Right, I'm in kind of evolution then. Yeah, he's in that. Aye. He's in evolution. Aye. I've never seen that. Really it's good. It's good, man. Has it? Aye. Aye. I always thought it looked good. I watched a... Uh, a film which, when I first watched it, I didn't like, and right. I watched it, and it was quite good this time. Sunshine? On a cloudy day, no. Uh, signs? Oh, Signs is not good. And I, I thought it was better than what I used to pan it for. It's not, it's not his worst. Uh, he's it's certainly not his films. worst. Aye. Aye. Maybe that's what it was. Maybe I've seen so many bad M. Night Shyamalan films that... It's <laughs> It's definitely, just this was better. It's definitely not his worst. It's got it's got whacking Phoenix in it, so that's probably what it was. <laughs> but the bit when Do you know his brother played the young Indiana Jones? Aye, his, his brother was the one that died. Aye, that's true. Outside the Viper Room in mm. LA, mm-hmm. with Johnny Depp and someone else, I do believe. Mm. Aye, aye, they were like out and he like loaded. All right. Have you seen Sex? <laughs> no. Because everyone I've ever met tells me it's total horse shit. So I'm not going to spoil it. <laughs> no spoils. Have you've spoil seen it. Scary Movie 4, haven't you? Yes. Then you've seen Signs. Yep. <laughs> yeah, Scary Movie 3. I hope you know. Uh, well, whatever. I'm gonna There's a bit when they, they're, they're fighting. They're fighting the... Well, they're about to fight the alien at the end. And it's got the boy and basically... Did you come out the TV? <laughs> <laughs> the water's pushing it to tell you that. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to watch Yo, it. Yo, this bitch making my carpet wet! <laughs> I'm going to watch it. <laughs> Good. Definitely. How, how can I continue? Do you think I can get Scary Movie 1 to 5 Blu-ray box set? Of course. Of course. Do you think we're mailing like three, three quid? Probably I. Then fuck <laughs> that. <laughs> Probably not. Because the movies ain't much shit. Anyway, signs, right, I'm, I'm not going to talk about it because it's, it's all right. It's just, it's not bad, bad. Like it scared me when I was wee, but that's because I was like 12. That's it's still quite jumpy at times. Aye, there are some good bits, like, see see the bits, there's some smartly done things, like, see when, uh, well, that's what I liked about it. See when, <laughs> it must be the bits that Nate Shyamalan wasn't involved with. Um, there's a bit, see the bit where it's the, the Mexican family's filming the, the birthday party? Aye. And then the alien, like, runs it out. That Aye. bit's good. That's probably about it, but. <laughs> the cheesiest bit in it, but it's been about to fight the alien at the end, and uh, Joaquin Phoenix has got like the junior baseball record for like best home run ever. Aye, and uh, like he look, Mel Gibson looks at his baseball bat and he looks at him and he just goes, "Swing away." <laughs> what's um, up and smacks it. <laughs> what's um, 
And Night Shyamalan's in that as well. He's in all his films, uh, but he's in that. He plays he's like the guy that kills Mel Gibson's uh, wife. Well, runs her over. What's next? <sighs> a very, very bad film I don't want to talk about. What? The Last Show. What's that? I feel like I've heard of that. Starring Robert England. Oh, Ooh. you told us about that. You, you, you were raging about us, weren't you? Well, it's Robert England, the big man. I mean, I bet like he's only good in. Apparently, <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that fear clinic is quite good. I'm not seeing that. Anyway, so it's this couple who you kind of get the impression they've only been out for maybe like a few weeks. And she's like, Here, I've got tickets to a midnight showing of The House Have Ice 2, the original. Do you want to go? And he's like, Aye, all right. So they go, and then there's like. You're getting for the fact that if a lassie comes up to you and is like, Do you want to go see The House Have Ice 2? Or something wrong well. <laughs> 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 so they go and like um, it's just the manager and Robert England's and Robert England just sells the popcorn and stuff and they go is this like the last action hero but a horror film I is wish. that what this I is I, I wish man but no I'm going to write that so um, <laughs> she he like drugs her with Pepsi and then like comes and captures her and then it comes up on a he can't find her comes up on the screen like this red screen with black writing Right. And he's like, um, I've got your bird look zoomed in on her face by camera. He's like, we're going to make a film of my own. I want to make a film with real folk, and you're the star. So he gives him like a gun, tells him to smash his phone, and like makes him like, run about. He's like, go here, go there. And then um, he send, he's captured the manager at this point, and he sends him out with like uh, his girlfriend's phone. And he's like, oh, here, you killed my bird. For some reason, I'm going to shoot you. So he shoots him and then like he gets done by the police and he gets jailed and he gets he, no doesn't he the police kill him and that's it. Great, uh, that sounds terrible. Let's so is it like I thought? Oh, I thought this was cool. Right now, like a like a snuff movie. No, no, he, like it's kind of like that because he keeps the footage. Do you know the movie of? The, do you know of the movie Snuff? I know what a snuff movie is. No, there's was a movie came out called Snuff, right? And the whole thing they were selling it was like, this is a, is this actually a snuff movie? Like, oh. Like, you know, like, uh, what, is it real? Like, they're watching that shit, right? Mm-hmm. That, like, see when you went and bought it, like, on video, they'd sell you it, like, and it would come, they'd give it, give you it, like, in a, like, brown paper bag, and, like, cover the, cover the video and that, and, like, give you it, and then, like, the brown paper bag said snuff on it, but, like, I thought it was good. That's weird. <laughs> I'll go buy it now. <laughs> you'll, not, you'll not get it in the mail, but... Uh. Um, I watched also, I don't think it's very good, so... I watched, um, The Eye last night, but I never seen the end because I fell asleep. Uh, is it good? I was enjoying it. Huh? I'm gonna watch that. It wasn't Sounds cool. The, the the screenplay was a bit kind of basic, and right. it doesn't make sense that a woman who gets sight for the first time knows what blurriness is. But who am I to judge? Has she definitely been blind since she was born? Well, she, it starts it starts off her going, "I've been blind since I was four years old, and I can't remember anything I've ever saw." Right. <laughs> and okay. then they like show her eyes. Is it for Jessica the first Alba. Time. Aye. Right. She opens her eyes for the first time. The doctor's like, "How many fingers am I holding up?" And she's like, "Oh my god, are they actually fingers?" And he's like, oh yeah, ha, ha. so obviously that's I've just seen everything for the first time, but that's she knows so it's blurry. But uh, then she starts like, seeing shadows in the background, and it's like it starts off like, are they actually people in the room, or is that not meant to be there? Aye. And then, um, like, yeah, she's talking to folks like a wee boy saying, "Help me find my report card," and she's like, "What are you on about?" And then he like disappears, and then like stuff screams in her face and stuff. And cool. I think I haven't got. I think I fell asleep just before the twist, but I'm gonna watch the rest of it for next <laughs> week. Quality. Have you ever seen Awake? No, is that the one made? That's Ryan Skywalker. Reynolds. Skywalker. It's Ryan Reynolds, is it now? There's one made. Oh, maybe it is. Maybe it is Hayden Christensen, and it's like he goes under. Aye, for an operation. And he's like awake. I've, I think I might have seen it. Maybe. I've not seen it, but I thought it looked cool. I thought it was. I thought it was Ryan Reynolds. Though I'll probably watch it if it's Hayden Christensen, because fuck that guy. I went to. I've like, seen Jumper. <laughs> That's not good. I went to a, a youth group like twice in Stevenson. And it was quite bad, but basically, if you lost it, I think it was like Duck Duck Goose or something, you had to either tell a joke, tell a fact, or do a dance. And I told the fact, and on that DVD cover, I just went one of it, and every 11,000 people was awake during an operation and just <laughs> sat down. <laughs> Football it. <laughs> <You know? laughs> um, what else did you watch? Up that. Is that? Uh, you watched Ouija? I did mean you watched Ouija. Is that right, Matt? <laughs> yeah, we've seen worse horror movies. You'll have seen better horror movies. Aye. If you want to watch a horror movie and you've got nothing else to watch, you could watch that. That's that. why it's a 4.4 on IMDb. That's my life, mate. Mm-hmm. It's on the scale. That is on the scale. That was fine. 
came out. I was in the school. Fucking starry eyes. Right. And that's just the way to talk about Ouija. No, it's pretty much all I have to say. I think what would have been better was if Ouija was Hasbro branded. Because like, I'm pretty sure it's them that sell like, the like you, the Ouija boards you can buy in shops. In Toys R Us? Aye. I did see on Tumblr all the Power Rangers branded Ouija board. It's pretty dope. It was hype. My biology teacher went mental because folk in our class were trying to make a Ouija board with A4 paper ones. I thought you said that in my class all the time. Like, I'm not going to get any ghosts in the school, mate. They're like, you're not like a hey, Ouija board, you might die. <laughs> 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 might get me a French, mate. <laughs> <laughs> better look through this. Better look, make sure you need to look through the planchette, mate. <laughs> <laughs> you look through the planchette. Just start rubber with a knife for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. What is it, mate? So I can see the other teachers' dead dreams. I watched, I watched Starry Eyes because I was on a horror kick last night after watching Ouija. So was I. So I played the Evil Within, and I was like, I'll look up like best horrors of 2014. See what like I've not seen. One of them was like Starry Eyes. Starry Eyes is good. Watch Starry Eyes. It's all fucking blah, 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 blah. shite. What is it? What is it? I've never it's heard of it. It's about an actress, right? And our like actress pals, but she like basically all her pals are dicks, right? That's that's another thing, right? Immediately, I was just like, I hate everyone in this film. Mm-hmm. Like everybody in it was terrible. Um, all our pals are like dicks. She's like trying to do an Anna Kendrick impression, but like she's also a dick, and it's like terrible. Um, and like she's a sick field actress, and she's kind of like no right in the head. Uh, it's basically a, it's basically shit. Black Swan. Um, she's kind of like no right in the head, and she like does this thing where like she like pulls her hair out when she's she's frustrated, and uh, she auditions for this horror movie, and they go in the auditions like all weird and all that, and like, she doesn't get it, so she's like freaking out in the toilet, and then the person comes in, and she's like, that's what we want to see on the screen, mate, and then she like gets the part, and then <laughs> she goes to meet the producer, and the producer tries to like pump her, so she'll get the part. She's like, no, mate, but then she does pump the producer. And it turns out they're like a satanic cult. <coughs> right. right. And um all this weird shit starts happening to her, so it's like gory. And it's like, oh, like her hair starts falling out and like her mouth's off fucking and like just a scene where she like pulls her nail off. Right. And like all the practical effects and all that are cool. But the story is just shit, man. It's just boring. It was just it was so boring. And like oh, it was just bad. It was naked. Cool. Just don't watch it. Great. I don't know. I don't want to talk about it. No, it's, it's bad. It's shit. Really? There's a guy in it that just does like a Nicolas Cage impression. Like I don't know if why you, uh, any actor why you would choose Nicolas Aye. Cage, but he's like he talk. But it's like kind of when folk do a Nicolas Cage impression and it's like exaggerated. And, and so like she she like comes in and he's like oh yeah, <laughs> sit down here uh and we'll go through your lines and you're like. I'm like, what's this guy doing? Like, I don't know if he was trying to play like a camp guy and just was doing it shit. Don't know. I was just this is bad, man. I sat and watched all of it, though. And I fucking shouldn't have. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's my own fault. I don't know what else to watch. Uh, I could have watched Signs. <laughs> this, might have been better, this might have been better than Signs. Is that the end of the creepy call? It was significantly less this week. Um... I don't think I watched any other horrors. Time to go to Shiki Baby. <laughs> Let's get the hell I out know what's going to win. I saw it last night. Was it the f- fi- five words to ruin a date? Yep. Tweet? yep. I see that as well. I think it was five words to ruin a wedding. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Hold on to I'll play the, a bit of this again. If you want some good Iron Sheik goodness, WWE Network, WrestleMania 17, Battle Royal. Legends Battle Royal. El Chief won it. There you go. Right, let's uh let's do the fucking Iron Sheik tweet of the week. Jabroni, but that little punk break his back, make him humble, put him in a camel clutch. And I didn't do it because for the God and Jesus and Mr. McMahon. For God and Jesus and Mr. McMahon. What is it? It's going to go mask. 
it's going to go in my bronze the body when I die. You still not get into it? No, I think I do now. Because I'm, I think I remember the. <laughs> that at Taylor Swift thirteen, you change your song to "She Get Off" and I love you forever. <laughs> That'd be amazing. <laughs> right here, it, here, here it is. Because this is it. <laughs> this is it. And capital letters. Your mother is a whore. Hashtag ruin a wedding in five words. <laughs> yep. That's it. That's it. That's it. It's done. It's finished. Is that us? Um, news I, beat. I don't know, man. I don't think anybody listens to this for, for news. It just ends up being us on total film list and That Fantastic headlines. Floor trailer looked alright. It looked amazing. No. It looked alright. It looked amazing. Mm. I can't wait. It looked so good. It looked alright. And Bubba Ray Dudley came back. <laughs> Bubba Ray Dudley returned. It's coming down. Right, see you later. Is <laughs> <laughs> that us? Is it over? Uh, yeah, that's us. TKO. Aye. Right. Cheery bye. Bye. Thanks for um, listening. See we'll see you next week with a hot new episode, hopefully, if Chris doesn't die on Friday at his birthday night out well he's not partied with the Irvine boys in a long time <laughs> might have that year old absinthe that Willie Dove gave me last year <laughs> well, he's just still in Daz's hut um, and then you'll hear me and Joe with Gary Gary with film show patron Gareth Hanel <laughs> patron <laughs> patron um, on Friday for the second episode of the Get Right podcast yep um, see you later I'll be doing a spirit box ish